Hello? Yes. I'm going to be talking to you in five minutes about how awesome open source software foundations are. My name is John Galloway, as he said. Um, I like .NET. I like open source. So I was just totally blown away to be offered the role as .NET Foundation uh, Executive Director. And the first question I had to answer for myself and then answer a million times to a lot of other people and try and get it down in under a half hour is, what does that even mean? So of course, the most common way of communicating these days is to go and look for an animated GIF. And I did find some that really kind of summed up the communication experience. I, I decided to go a little bit deeper and look into Wikipedia. And Professor Wikipedia does have a lot of words. They're the kind of definition that once you know the answer, it's all technically correct, but it doesn't help you get there. There's words like umbrella organization and primary mechanisms, et cetera. So, uh, you know, <laughs> when in doubt, go to the source. The .NET Foundation website, oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, so, and, and that Wikipedia just points us right back to our original problem. The .NET Foundation website actually does have some good words there that do explain some of the kind of key features to help us narrow down. Uh, there's the idea of it's an independent organization. Um, there's, there's some other important things that pop out here. Community and commercial developers alike working together in this ecosystem. So with that in mind, let's look at some things that it's not. And some people kind of jump to the wrong conclusion. Here's what I think it is. It's not primarily marketing. Now, there's an there's a, uh, advocacy aspect to it. We do want .NET to be bigger and cooler and awesomer, and the .NET Foundation is part of that. But we've got a marketing team at Microsoft. We've got really smart marketing people, and I'm not one of them. Um, and that's not really what it is. And I, I would actually say, if you see a software foundation, including .NET Foundation, digging too deep into marketing, call BS, because it's not the primary focus. It's not primarily also an ombudsman. Now, that said, please talk to me anytime. I'm always there, and it is kind of this middle ground. It's a Switzerland where you can talk to if something's messed up in the open source.net world. But that's not the primary focus. What's, uh, I'll talk to, me, talk to me after. I've only got two minutes left. Uh, so let, let's say, you know, what are the, the primary problems that software foundations are actually created to solve? Uh, one is this role of this working together between a corporation and the community. So the idea is to create a common place. So developers at Microsoft, paid by Microsoft, are checking in code to GitHub under an MIT license day after day. But the copyright statement on it says copyright.net foundation. You create a pull request. You push it up to, dot, to uh, that same repo. It goes through a CLA. And it, again, says copyright.net foundation. So we're working together on the same source code in the same place with the same kind of governance model. I encourage you to check out, if you go to github.com slash .net, we've actually spelled out this governance model, and we're working to continue to improve it. Another thing that people don't even know as much about or know less about is the idea that community projects can also join the .net foundation. And that gives, you, that gives us a lot of really kind of key opportunities. We can support projects to keep them going uh, with ideas like um, we can sponsor your project by giving you, um, by giving you certification or SSL certs and build servers, et cetera, that kind of stuff. Um, there's a couple of case studies. I think I'm short on time, so I'm just going to super rush through them. But one is uh, NuGet. We've, just, we've been working hard on policies so that projects can keep going, in, including cases like succession if someone passes away. And uh, with Open Live Writer, that was a, that's an, uh, an open source .NET Foundation project where I actually dug into it, and the build wasn't working. It was on a server. The certif certificate was expired, and we needed to get something working. I worked with. Warren Novotny, Paul Betts, who's here, and we got this build working so that we can publish directly from, from the build. The idea there is not just one project, but to make it so lots of projects can work that way. So Giphy doesn't take pull requests, but if they did, this is what I would want to see when I search for Open Source Software Foundation. I want something that's going to keep your project going and going and going. So thanks a lot. I'm out of time. Uh, please say hi. <laughs>